And we're back with Wii Controller lesson number two on your Linux box. As I was saying earlier, if you go into your package manager, I'm using Synaptic here, and do a search for Wii, W-I-I, and hit search, you'll get a list of applications that are available for it. Say we're going to look at WM input. So if you don't have that installed, mark it for installation and apply it. It should only take a few seconds for it to download and install. Once it's done and installed, if you open up your terminal, uh, and you have to uh, log in as root or sudo user and you're going to want to run this command uh, dep mod with a switch of dash a uh, you run that once and then after that you run mod probe uh, u input uh, and now you don't have to run those again so you have to re once you reboot your machine you'll have to run those again but from this point on you can just use wm input uh, and when you hit it, it will tell you to press 1 and 2 on your Wii controller. So you do that and you'll get your lights flashing. Remember, we're connecting through uh, Bluetooth, so you have to make sure you have your Bluetooth uh, adapter in if you have Bluetooth adapter. And there we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm controlling my cursor with the Wii controller. If you tilt, twist your control like this, it goes left and right. If you point up, it goes up. If you point down, it goes down. Uh, the buttons are also controlled uh, this way. If I press my A button, which is on top here, that's uh, like clicking, so I can highlight stuff like that. And uh, the trigger by default is your right click. And the other buttons are programmed for other things. I don't remember the default settings, but we're about to look at them. So, uh, to end that, I'm just going to hit Control C, and that will kill that application. If you go into this folder, uh, etc., CWIID, and then WM input, uh, you can do a list and it has some presets in here by just running WM input as we did a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago what it runs is the default uh, which if we open up with nano there's not much in oh, it would be good if I opened up the file <laughs> um, there's not much in here uh, this is just a little comment there on what this is um, this part here is telling the Wii controller to control the cursor but this include buttons what that's doing is telling it to also run the this buttons uh, file configuration file so these are the, this is the default way that the Wii controller is set up and if you look this is button A is uh, left button B is right uh, it's button as in mouse button for keys up down left right are keys up down left right uh, the minus is back, the plus is forward, home is your home key. Uh, so, but you can make these any keys you want. So if we wanted to, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to change the home key. And I'll just change that to key uh, K. So I'll save that file. To edit these files, uh, you have to be root or change the permission to them. So we will run uh, WM input again. We'll press 1 and 2 on our Wii remote. We'll wait a few seconds for it to connect through the Bluetooth. Once again, I'll control my cursor, but this time if I hit my home button, which is right here in the center there, if I press that, you can see I'm typing K every time I hit it into the, con into the uh, terminal there, or whatever application I have selected. This is great because then you can program these buttons to be any buttons on the keyboard, so any games you have or programs, you can control them with button presses that you can assign inside these files. I'm going to control C to kill that and you can also create your own config files just doing WM input as I said earlier runs the default um, but if you have another one that you've created you can either put it in this directory um, as in they have some presets here like uh, Neverball for the game Neverball uh, and the way you run that is your wm input dash c and then the name of that file. Run that, press your two, 1 and 2 button, and when it connects, it will run that configuration file, which uh, is set up for the game Neverball. You can create your own uh, configuration files, play around with these, and I have more tutorials come to for you soon. I hope you enjoy. Visit filmsbychris.com for more videos and tutorials like this, and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope it helps you. Uh, feel free to comment with any questions and feel free to rate this video with a five stars. I'd appreciate that.